their black uniforms, the Pistons in their whites. I do miss the home and road uniforms, but you can sell a lot more jerseys when you don't have home and road anymore. Ball is up, game is on, tapped out of bounds, and it will go to the Clippers. Pistons come in at just 3 and 12, again, kind of in a rebuilding mode. This is Jaden Ivey we touched on, awkward shot. Rebound taken by Vita Zubat. See a pretty good play. I've heard good things. The fact that Vladi Divac was in charge of basketball at that point in time is beats him with two free throw attempts. Three fouls for the Pistons in the first two minutes and ten seconds. So the beats of Zubats knocks down the games for his free throws for the Clippers. He knew what they, meaning Sacramento, thought he was. Was he a power forward? Was he a center? And, and that was part of the decision on where do you play and how does he get his minutes? This young man can shoot the basketball. Well, he was part of that playoff series with the Utah Jazz back in 2021. He, too, was in the starting lineup. D. Jackson a little bit later. Here is George posting on Bogdanovich midway through this first quarter. Rises, misses, rebound tapped up, but not in by Zoo. And Bogdanovich controls Clippers just 3 for 10. Big points on the board, night in and night out there. George spots an entry into the lane, takes it, gets up, not there. Zoo with a rebound, hesitates, and then thunders it in. Avisa Zubat with a follow. Duran does struggle from the free throw line. Coming into today, just 10 for 28. Norman Powell leaves it and cuts the lead down to 10. Hayes, foul line jump shot. And the problem is you give a young team confidence. We talk about start this second quarter. Piston defense feeling pretty good about themselves. Their opponent season low prior to that first quarter was 24. This was mustered only 15. 19 against Brooklyn. They did score 31 against Houston. 15 against Dallas. And then tonight, just the 15 in that first quarter. That starting lineup. Killian Hayes goes behind the back, trying to dodge the defense of Leonard. In the corner to Bay for three. Bay had been a starter for much of his time with the Pistons. Tough shot for Morris. Rebound inside goes to Zoo over the extra fingertips of Duran. Misfired. Duran. Tough shot, good defense there by Zoo. Clippers recover and then throw it out of bounds. Broadcasters jinx in place and Knox has the rebound. Gets it ahead to Bay. 43-40, Pistons out in front. Whistle and a three-second violation against the Clippers. The Pistons have outscored the Clippers 17-10. Jackson from the wing, challenges Duran, winds up on his wallet. No, oh, and Avita Zubac pounds it in with two. 13-0 run back in the first quarter to take their double-digit lead. Clippers are able to counter as Jaden Ivey fades, fires, cannot fill it up. And the Clippers come away with the rebound. They in the starting lineup tonight, nine points and five rebounds. Zoo spins on Bagley off the window over Barros in the white shirts rebound, and Bogdanovich will play the role of point guard. Keep going back to Reggie, let him create, and then he'll find guys on his team behind the line wide open. Bogdanovich tailgated by Leonard, misses from the free throw line. Zoo has it. Ivy alone in the corner for three. Great ball movement by the Pistons. They just don't get the shot. Rips the rebound away. Pistons have led by as many as 12. Whistle. George down the lane. Morris waits on the flyby. Pulls the trigger. This one comes up short. Another rebound for Zoo. Saves it. It was a great play as he was tumbling to the ground. That's one of those hustle turnovers. Wall. Uses Zoo as a barricade as well. Waits for the big fella. Feeds him a whistle and a foul. Thank I like that by John Wall. If we get a quick word from Cedar Sinai. As steady as they have been all year. You can say that any year he has been in a Clipper uniform, quite frankly. Amadou Diallo and Alec Burks. Bogdanovich. Whistle and a blocking foul will be called on Zoo. That'll be his second. So glad he didn't cool off while he was sitting on the bench. Came in smoking right away. Knox. Some irrational confidence from above the arc. Misses Duran with a rebound. It is interesting. This lineup for the Clippers hasn't been great here tonight. Again, and that's expected. Everybody's trying to figure everybody else out with Kawhi Leonard on the floor. Zoo throws it away. Knox has it. Looking to break the tie. Everybody's trying to figure everybody else out with Kawhi Leonard on the floor. Zoo throws it away. Knox has it. Looking to break the tie. Runs the show. Down the lane. Clever move inside. Misses again. Leonard mishandles. Zoo's there to recover. 
Zoo runs the show and the dribble handoff to George for a deep three and lead. He got it. 78-76. Back and forth we go in a teeter-totter fourth quarter. Look at our shooting. 38% from the three-point line. It's an all doom and gloom. Hayes forcing the issue. He was tied up for a moment by George. By the Pistons there. Give it right back to the Clips. Zubats off the feed from George. Rolls up. Burks got mauled underneath. That's going to go against Zubats. That's four. A six-point lead with 3.15 remaining in the game. The James Lugan on the glass, getting an offensive board. He hasn't scored in this fourth quarter. After going nine in the first, eight in the second. Career high in rebounds, 18. George splits a pair of defenders. Lops it to zero, makes the flush. 91-83, timeout, Pistons. Score goes a long way here for the Pistons. Burks can do it too. He picks up his dribble regrettably, then gets it back. Bounces into Zoo. He'll go to the free throw line for a couple. No foul coming. The white flag is waved. And the Clippers are winners for the night time here in this season. They improved to 9 and 7. Two playoff combatants in the Eastern Conference.